In the early 80s, a bunch of hooded superheroes sitting under railway arches on rain-swept evenings, shaking cans and making enemies, were to sow the seeds of change. Their purpose lay not in the explanation, but in the doing, and their intention was to strike you between the eyes and leave their calling card. That collective calling card recently arrived at the library in Islington for the inaugural Crazy Fools pop-up exhibition. Crazy Fools is a collection of some of the country's most influential urban artists, currently featuring Banksy, Sick Boy, Inky, Levi C and more besides. It's brilliant to see uh, filthy lurkers' tentacles um, coming out the windows, everyone's turning their heads, wondering what's going on and wandering in. Um, I said yeah because it's a good spot for me to put the stuff, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's nice to be on, uh, on uh, Upper Street here in London. We had a big queue, about 150 people outside at uh, 12 o'clock banging on the door to come in. It's just something we started about three months ago. Um, Paul's quite a big buyer of art, he's got a good collection, and he knows a lot of artists. He's great at bringing artists together. It's nice just to show your work with some big names, for example, and people that you admire, you know, other artists, like, for example, Dave over there, is, you know, I admire his work, so, you know, banks and stuff, I admire his work. We put it on, we put up the website, we got a bit of press, and then the next thing we knew, you know, artists were phoning us up, can we exhibit with you? It's a kind of new site, basically, to so sell digital prints of the, all the artists on this show and more. I genuinely think um, the stencil art and, and what appeals to people when they see a stencil on the street is it, it, really about the message, it really is about the idea, you know. I've released uh, guerrilla marketing, guerrilla marketing, but it's a picture of a gorilla uh, spraying on the wall with a Turner Prize rosette. The one that caught my eye was the pigeon on the chips. Um, and I've done a print of um, Now Open Sundays, which is a, a church with a Tesco Express sign. Has the rise of, of Banksy in particular had a, had a significant impact? Oh, totally, yeah. It's just like brought a whole generation of people into the art world, you know? It does what it says on the tin. My art is about direct communication about thought. What I appreciate is that lots of people come from the street to actually view an exhibition. They don't actually feel that they have to go to the gallery. Don't just get any establishment, put all the art in there and it pops up for a weekend or something, rather than going into a gallery and you've got it there for a week. It's kind of quite more refreshing, I think. One thing that I really like about it is that you can get the press behind it. And if you're a stationary um, building, you know, they can come once and then that's it. So you can always gear something around it. If you'd like to experience Crazy Fools for yourself, clear your diary for the weekend of the 12th of December and head up to the library in Islington. Or check out the website at www.crazyfools.net.